Hey guys, how's it going? It's Rob Sutton with Bike 198, and today we are reviewing the Ceres Super Clamp EX2 Hitch Rack. So before we get into what I actually think of the rack itself, let's go ahead and take a look at the specs and see what we're dealing with. This is a single bar, two bike hitch rack mount that is also available in a four bike configuration. You can hold up to 60 pound bikes in both of the trays for a combined total of 120 pounds worth of bike weight, and it only weighs 35 pounds. It is compatible with one and a quarter and two inch receivers. You do see I am using a two and a half here with an adapter. The bikes do mount in the trays with the straps on the bottom of the wheels, as well as the over the tire arms that clamp down on the tires themselves. This provides a way to mount your bikes without actually touching the frames. And the Sarah Super Clamp EX2 retails for $579. All right guys, so first let's get into what I actually liked about the rack itself. First off, to secure this to the hitch, you're actually using a threaded bolt instead of some kind of like pressure mechanism that expands within the hitch itself. What this means is you get a really secure connection to the hitch with the rack and you don't have to really worry about it loosening up as you're actually ratcheting that down with a socket or a wrench. So it provides a really tight connection that tries to help with wobbling or the rack moving itself. And then while we're talking about connections, the actual connections at the tires and these straps on the bottom of the wheels is a really secure connection. You can really feel it when you kind of pull down on the ratcheting system itself. It has really nice big teeth and it allows for a really tight connection up against the tire. So what you want to do with this rack versus some other racks that you see that actually mount on the tire is that you want to run this arm about 180 degrees from the tray itself. So then you get a nice pinch factor there and the bikes don't move barely at all. And while we're talking about the trays themselves, they are adjustable. So you can accommodate wheel bases up to 50 inches, which is really nice when I wanna mount my son's bike in here. I can actually just move those forward and make it adjustable for those different wheelbase sizes, whether it's a gravel bike, a kid's bike, or a very large e-bike like I have here with the Trek rail. And then the other great thing about this rack is while it's really light at 35 pounds, so it's easy to move around, it does accommodate up to two 60 pound bikes. As you can see behind me, I have a little bit over a 30 pound bike here with the Polygon, but then right behind it is a 55 pound bike with the Trek rail. And it accommodates up to those really large tires up to a 4.0, but then it also can accommodate like my gravel tires that are really narrow. So the availability of mounting up really a lot of different kinds of bikes makes it really versatile if you want to be able to use it for your entire set. So this hitch rack really does have a great ability to accommodate a wide range of bikes. So you have one hitch rack that can do everything that you need no matter what you own. Then this hitch rack, like most that are designed like this, does have a lever that you could pull it down and get it out of the way of your tailgate if you have an SUV. That handle also happens to have a bottle opener in it, so that's a kind of little cool feature, so when you want that extra beer right there at the end of the trailhead after your ride. And then as I mentioned before, it does out of the box fit every single hitch that you could throw at it. Yes, I do have to use an adapter here with the two and a half inch hitch, but it will work for the two and the one and a quarter straight out of the box. So you don't have to worry about getting extra parts to actually make this bike rack fit in your hitch. And then another great feature about this rack is you actually have integrated locks. There's a lock on the hitch itself, and then as well as two cable locks that actually are integrated very easily into the rack itself and stow away very nicely. Now, let's be honest, if someone really wants your bikes and they're a professional at stealing them, they're going to get them anyway. These cable locks are really meant for people that are going to try to just grab your bikes and run. So it's just that added security when you wanna say stop at a restaurant on the way home, you don't have to worry about someone just undoing your rack and taking your bike while you're in having a meal. And then one more little added little bonus feature is that they actually made all of their stickers reflective. So if you're at night driving around and you're worried about someone rear-ending you with this bike rack on the back, those reflectors add just a little bit more of a safety factor that just gives you a little bit more peace of mind and protects what you have out there on your truck. And then lastly, at $579, this is a pretty good overall value for a hitch rack. If you actually go out there and look, yes, you can get a lot cheaper options, but most of those touch the frame in some form or fashion, or they're going to be in that $800 range and above. So to get into a hitch rack where you get that frameless connection with your bikes and the racks in a really secure way, it's good to have around $579 when you can get to $650, 700 800 pretty easily. All right, guys, so that's what I liked about the Super Clamp EX2. So what are some of the drawbacks in comparison to some of the other racks out there? First off, this is not a tool-free design. You do have to carry a 19 millimeter wrench or ratchet set with you to tighten this rack down onto the hitch. A lot of the other racks out there on the market do not require any tools at all. They have some kind of knob or something else that actually tightens it to the hitch itself. So like in comparison with my quad rack, which actually has a knob, this one does tighten down a lot easier. So it is a little bit more set and forget. With the quad, I like to get up to the top of the driveway, let it shake around a little bit and then retighten it. Or you don't have to do it with this rack. But just keep in mind that if you're going to have to take the rack off, say, and put it in the back of your truck, you do need to have those tools with you where you wouldn't with some of the other racks out there. Then while this is also really good to be compatible with so many different hitches, there is one little drawback in the fact that that main tube is actually one and a quarter, where it is two inches or bigger on other racks. So while that connection is super secure at the hitch, 
it can tend to wobble a little bit because it's a lot of leverage on a lower diameter tube. And then kind of the same point, because this is such a low profile rack because it only uses one bar, when you flip this up into storage mode, you're not really saving that much room. It would have been nice to see a pivot point that's a little bit farther back that you can get the rack closer to the back of your vehicle when it's actually in the storage position. And then lastly, because this is a one bar setup, the bikes are pretty close together. You've gotta to be really careful about clearances, especially if you're using bikes that are different sizes. It does help to have dropper posts on just about everything so that you can get the handlebars out of the way of just about any bike you put on here. But just keep in mind that low profile keeps it so they're really close together. And you might have to do a little bit more adjusting than you would have to on a dual tray setup. So guys, there's my review of the Sarah Super Clamp EX2. Overall, it has a lot of really good qualities to it. It's a really good hitch rack. With a little couple tweaks to make it a little bit more robust, I think it would be a real winner here out on the market. So guys, I wanna hear what you think down in the comments section below. Is this something you could see yourself buying? If you have any questions about the rack itself, please hit up the comments and I'll answer every single one of them I can. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to Bike 198 for more reviews like this in the future. And until then, on to the next one. Thanks guys, see ya.